I want to see the stuff the world has got in store. Uh, I want to take it on and I'm falling. The cityscape by night. Want to catch in my photos where you go. Every corner twice as bright. There'll be Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amongni, aka Petit Diva, and in this video, we are talking about weaponized incompetence. Now, some women shared some videos, very disturbing videos, of their partners being um, a particular kind of way. A pair of jeans, a shirt or two. We didn't pack as if we weren't and going back. Doesn't matter if it's true. This is for next time you're crying to yourself because you live alone. This was all left out by your husband because he literally doesn't give a f about you. Okay? He doesn't f put anything back because of his ADHD bullshit and he does not pick up after the kids or make the kids pick up after themselves he expects that you're going to do it for him so next time you get sad because you're lonely and on your own you need to remember that it's better when you are he literally does not give a f about you Otherwise, this would not look like this. Got a feeling love will give us what we like. The world is waiting up. The world is waiting half a step beyond our door. Yeah. And if it's not enough. This is really embarrassing. But you want to see my house? So this is his one chore. The one thing I ask of him. He's been telling me for about two weeks it's going to get done. That's about two weeks worth of dishes. Okay. Literally. No clean dishes. And this is what I come home to and I got sick and tired of cleaning because every time I go to work, he goes to his office and plays video games and lets her destroy the entire house and this is supposed to be my little work area and of course it's destroyed because people are going through my drawers pulling stuff out like that's 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 part of my business stuff um that the little flower envelope is um yeah the bathrooms are really bad, but I'm not going to show that right now. Um, the laundry room, that's, that's mediocre, but it's not too bad. But I literally cannot invite anybody over my house right now, and I'm embarrassed, and I'm way too depressed to clean it all by myself. I've had, I don't, probably hundreds, hundreds of mental breakdowns with my baby daddy about these messes and how they overstimulate me and I can't even focus. I can't even think. I can't even sleep when the house is like that. Does he care? Nope. But it's like this because I'm way too depressed to clean it at this point. It's gotten to the point where I, I physically can't do it anymore. I mentally cannot do it. So it's going to stay like this until I move out in a month. You tired? Well, you ain't done nothing. Like, this don't make no sense. It's just nasty in here. I'm done talking. This, I'm dead. I'm done. Like, this don't do Conversation this, is over. Like, this don't, this really, I don't know what to, I don't know what to do. I'm going to have to sleep on the couch tonight. Cause I, I'm telling you. I'm going to have to sleep on the couch and That's come in here and clean this you, up. Bro, sleep on the couch. What is that? that? Oh, I thought that was a, Give me five, ten, I all this stuff everywhere. You got your coat. I need twenty dollars. I gotta go to the store later. I I don't I don't know what to say. I just you don't. Got 20. 
I I I'm, I don't know what to say. This this is really outrageous. Happy Valentine's to you too. Yeah, right. Don't you get me? Uh, don't you get me? You you you, you worried about you ain't, ain't get you nothing. You ain't okay, you, you ain't get nothing get if you you need to clean up. You not get you, you think you deserve something because you ain't clean. It made no sense. You got stuff right here too. You ain't even fed the cat or nothing. Don't make no sense. Now, in the videos that you've just watched, um, they were showing their partners not picking up after themselves, not helping out with the dishes, not helping out with the laundry, and just leaving things um, alone. So some of them decided to show their partners that they are the ones that are always picking up and always cleaning the house. So they decided for a couple of days not to do anything. And as you all saw, it was a disaster. Uh, another person showed what a partner does when he comes back from grocery shopping or when he when they go out for grocery shopping. Instead of putting the groceries where it's supposed to be, he just stuffs it into the fridge. And I'm like wow it takes less than 10 minutes or 15 minutes to arrange everything and you just stuff it into the fridge um in my own opinion a lot of what's going on is based on the fact that the women um have enabled them like they allow them to not be able to pick up after themselves because they are always doing it and they are never saying oh please can you do this and for some of them i think like the guy that put the groceries like that in the fridge without arranging it um maybe she's the one always doing it and maybe she'll be telling him, would you help me get the groceries or something and he just felt like okay let me just do it yeah you want it you want me to get the groceries okay i've gotten the groceries and i put it in the fridge you go and do whatever you want to do and that is exactly what I think happened. Anyway, some people had things to say about these videos. So let's check them out and then I'll come back to share more thoughts on this whole issue. So I've been tagged repeatedly in this video and I wasn't going to talk about it initially because it's your run of the mill garden variety weaponized incompetence video with a hint of rage baiting. The comment section for videos like this is always the same. Women saying, I don't know how you put up with it. This is why I'm single. I would leave him, divorce him immediately. She'll post this, read your comments and looking for those few comments that are like, mine is the same. My husband does the same. My husband. And they try to one up each other with these horrible stories. Since we all know they're not leaving these men, this this is what I would do. I'm gonna say, are you hungry? You want some breakfast? He's gonna say yes. I'm gonna say, great. Do me a favor, go in that fridge and get me the bacon, the eggs, the cheese, the butter, the milk. I would give him a list. You go get it. Since it's easy and since it's no big deal, you go get it. And I'm not cooking a thing until you do. This whole thing is about conditioning you and training you and showing you I do this job badly so you might as well do it yourself. Uh-uh. Until he figures it out, it's ham, no burger. It's peanut butter, no jelly. I wash the clothes, but I'm going to leave them in the wash. You're going to have to dry them. Since we have to task that our partner asks us to do, then I'm going to do it too. I'm, I promise you he'll figure it out. Oh, this is crazy. Look, after Valentine's Day, look. Everything. Just stuff all over. For the men, especially this man recording, that don't understand what's going on here, this woman is mentally checking out. How much of that stuff is yours that you didn't pick up? And she's realized if I don't do it, it doesn't get done. You said she stopped after Valentine's Day. What was the catalyst? Hmm? What did you do to piss her off? Just curious. You got two hands, right? I'm sure not all of that stuff is your wife's. I'm sure a big bulk of it might be yours and you can help her clean up. Men, just because your woman is a stay-at-home mom or a stay-at-home wife does not mean that she does everything at the house. You can pick up after yourself, right? Instead of putting the clothes beside the hamper, you can put them in the hamper, or hey, I don't know, maybe start a little laundry if the hamper is full. Instead of leaving your dishes around, you can put them in the sink, or hey, if the dishwasher's unloaded, maybe load the dishwasher and start a load. It's small things like that that keeps a marriage going. 
obviously, if there aren't other issues. Usually when women do this, it's them seeing if you're actually going to do your part if she stops doing hers. And most of the time y'all fumble the ball. And that's the last bit of information that she needed to check herself out. And then you guys are like, oh my God, I don't know why she left. There was no explanation. There's no warning. She just left. Instead of humiliating your wife on TikTok, maybe help her clean. I don't know, maybe appreciate her. Tell her she's pretty, I don't know, something. Sometimes men are so damn clueless. Mm -hmm. Seven days since I cleaned my kitchen. In fact, it's been that long since I stepped foot in it. My son and I got COVID while my husband somehow managed to avoid it. So we isolated on the top floor. The kitchen is so much worse than I could have imagined. All right, hi, my name is Black Belt Babe. I am a mom and a wife to a partner who is a equal partner, an equal parent. So I've compiled a list. So you might be a married single mom if. All right, so if you're responsible for the majority of your child's care and your husband has no clue what to do, marry single mom. If your husband has no clue what size your kids wear and how to appropriately dress them for the season, like I oftentimes see people who post their husbands dressing their kids in summer gear in the winter and thinking it's cute and funny, like ha ha ha, look what he did. No, married single mom. He should know how to dress those kids. Number three, you have to leave your husband with a, a detailed list of instructions just to get away for one hour. Number four, you get sick and your entire household goes down the drain so he didn't do dishes for seven days? Um, number And then the next one, your husband cannot take them out in public by himself. And then the next one is you're responsible for the majority of researching and implementing necessities for your kids. So this could be anything from age appropriate toys to the foods that they can eat, any of that. And this list is not limited. Weaponizing competence is not cute. And I think we need to get out of the framework of men don't know what they're supposed to do when it comes to parenting. We're both first time parents. You and your husband are both first time parents. So if you didn't come rolling out of your mama's coochie, knowing what to do as a parent, and he didn't either, how did you learn? You read a book, you talked to somebody, you went on Google. I bet if your husband's interested in football and a parlay, he would go and Google how to put do a parlay. You can Google how to help take care of your house. You can watch a video on how to wash dishes and how to care for your sick wife, but instead they don't do that. So then women are stuck in a cycle of being a married single mom where you essentially have the kids that you carried for 40 weeks and your useless husband, I couldn't imagine. I could not imagine having a husband that is completely and utterly useless, bro. And it's not cute, it's not funny. This is no shame to the original creator either because I actually feel bad for her. Like, you were sick. After battling COVID, you then had to come back after COVID and then go and do seven days worth of chores because your husband ain't worth a good goddamn? Oh, heck. <laughs> we would have to fight at that point. Talking about knocking his head between the washer and the dryer. Stand up, girl. You deserve way better. There are equal partners out there that are willing to learn. If my husband don't know how to do something, he's going to Google it. Plain and simple. And your husband should do the same. Shame on him. Shame on him. I'm going to show you guys what weaponized incompetence is. It's something my baby daddy loves to use against me very, very well. Last night, I went to bed at like 10. I asked him, hey, can you please clean the bottles, right? And I, he did. He cleaned the bottles. They're right there. Um, he also did not put dinner away. So there's that. He was in charge of dinner last night, and he just ordered us food. I can't do that because I'm not allowed to do that. But anyway, he left dishes in the sink because I didn't ask him to do that either. So if I were to ask, oh, and he left a pan over there. So if I were to ask him, hey, I thought I asked you to pick up the kitchen last night. Oh, well, you only told me to clean the bottles, and I did clean the bottles. You didn't tell me to put the food away, and you didn't tell me to clean up the rest of it. That's weaponized incompetence. He's playing stupid to basically win an argument. Don't settle for this. And I'm going to start doing videos like this because I can't get out, of, get out of my situation anytime soon. There are many different forms of abuse, and this is one of them. I might get a lot of hate for what I'm about to say, but is it possible that your man left the pizza boxes out last night because you can do that? It's just like pizza bread that gets left out. As far as the one glass and the one plate that I see in the sink, I think that it's possible that he cleaned up all the dinner dishes, but then it's possible that he grabbed himself a snack and a drink to watch some TV and relax, and those dishes ended up in the sink because the dishwasher was running. Or maybe he's the type that likes a full sink of dishes to build up before he actually puts them in the dishwasher. And as for the pan, it kind of looks clean 
and like it belongs there. I don't know, some people leave the most frequently used pans on their stove. My entire point is that your man probably has no idea that you're this upset. Well, until he sees this TikTok. And then he's gonna feel a certain way about you shaming him on TikTok instead of just communicating with him and getting on the same page so that you both feel like partners. So what excuse does your partner give for not cleaning up? I Man, this is absolutely unacceptable. And what made me mad about this video is I saw that game controller. I'm all about decompressing. But when your house looks like that, gaming does not come before it. I don't care. Don't give me the your stressed excuse that you need time to yourself. I do not care. Gaming does not come before a house that looks like that. Get off your butt and clean and help her. It's that simple. Oh, this is crazy. Look, after Valentine's Day, look. Everything. Just stuff all over. Dishes. Do y'all see this? Yet another man telling everyone voluntarily that he practices weaponized incompetence and has made himself into an involuntarily celibate man in his own house because he thinks that using and abusing his wife is his right because of the patriarchy. But the patriarchy hurts you too. So now you walk around with a dirty house and a dry day because you don't want to participate in the marriage and the family and the household that you pursued by asking her to marry you in the first place. It looks like you guys have children and pets and that mess has been accumulating over the course of many days or weeks. And then you have the nerve to say she stopped cleaning after Valentine's Day, but I wonder what fabulous gift you had awaiting for her when she woke up. Probably absolutely nothing. How many times are we going to say this? Women who are not pedophiles do not want to sleep with men who want them to be their mothers. So you know what you can do now? Put your phone down, grab a rag, and bust some suds. Now, personally, I think that a lot of those men that exhibit such attitude, they were not raised properly from whom they were not raised properly when they were younger. They were not allowed to develop basic life skills because I don't get how picking up after yourself or trying to wash you for goodness sake you're using a washing machine you're not using your hand like some of us you're using a washing machine you probably have a dryer you cannot operate that to be able to wash your clothes or to be able to even put clothes dirty clothes in um, a laundry basket. It doesn't take so much to remove your clothes and put it in a laundry basket. Most you hold everything on the floor. Another one is you have a dishwasher. You're not using your hand. Most people will not. Most of them will have dishwashers. So you can just rinse the thing, put it in the dishwasher. The dishwasher will do everything. And then you can arrange. That's the problem. Looking at all those plates, looking at everything, and I'm like, wow, this is ridiculous. But the thing is that most of them were not taught when they were younger. And some of these women actually enabled them. When they first started dating and the rest, you saw that they were this way, but you were always picking up. Now, maybe something happened, you're pregnant or you're tired or something, and you now see that, oh, these people are not helping out at all. And now you're in the situation where you're now you've reached the peak of I cannot do this anymore. And like I said, a lot of them were not raised to have basic life skills. And it's because most time, and this is me just being me and looking at it from an African point of view, most times um, a lot of parents would ensure that the female has the basic life skill and then try to pamper the males. And now they end up growing to be what we are seeing on the screen and um, being a nuisance to their partners and a nuisance to the society. And now, one of the videos really annoyed me and is the guy that 
the wife says she's not going to clean for a particular amount of days and instead of even thinking that okay um i'm part of the reason why she doesn't want to clean and i'm part of the reason why the whole house is a mess and pick up after himself like try to even arrange the clothes or try to wash the plates he went and started packing up her cleaning or it should be their cleaning supplies saying she doesn't need it and i'm like what kind of attitude is this like he has just automatically turned her to a maid or a slave or something like you could not even say what is the reason why you are not cleaning up oh okay let's discuss it can i take some chores you take the larger part or something just like you take some chores and let us do it together or something you said you are getting angry and throwing the cleaning supplies so after you've thrown it what's going to happen you will still go and buy another one because at the end of the day except you are going to shove her out of the house you still need to clean the house both of you or maybe when you discuss finish she'll be the one to clean the house i don't know but i find that behavior very disturbing and it just it just rubbed me off the wrong way any which way i just think that men like that should do better and try to pick up after themselves honestly it's not that hard it's it's not rocket science for goodness sake any which way this is my own thoughts about the whole situation what do you think about um weaponized incompetence what do you think about the men that were acting up do you think that they're purposely doing it to kind of punish their partner or do you think they're just being lazy do you think that they've been spoiled they've been pampered growing up and um, now they have no idea how to do some basic things and now they are being a burden on their partner i would love to hear your thoughts about this whole situation so please leave your comments in the comment section so that we can get this discussion popping now if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you are not yet subscribed and you like videos such as this please consider subscribing by clicking on the red button to stay subscribed and don't forget to click on the bell notification icon by the side so that you're notified anytime i upload videos now with all that said Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.